guest tonight has appeared in Miami Rhapsody and the Pauly Shore movie Son-in-Law. Andy, that's one of your favorites, mm -hmm. as well as the TV series Spin City. Now, currently, you can see her with Nicolas Cage in Snake Eyes. Let's take a look. Did it feel important when the bullet hit? I had no choice. I, I, I can't live with the blood of innocent soldiers on me, okay? Whose side are you on? My side. An email. Well, you let them know you were coming. They just sat back and waited for you to show your face. Well, I was careful. I, I, I waited till Pal left. I didn't sit down till it was clear. No, you sat I... down exactly when they wanted you to. They opened the door and you walked on through, right on cue. They didn't miss him with that second shot. I missed you. Uh, Snake Eyes is one of those big monster summer movies. Yeah, yeah, it's been a very unique experience for me, for sure. Yeah? I actually just came through Cincinnati, Ohio, where I hear everything begins. Yes, um, all life begins yes. there. Yeah. And my grandmother lives there, so I came on my way here. Now, your grandmother, I guess, th th doing this big blockbuster movie, it hasn't gone to your head, but apparently it has gone to your grandmother's head. Yeah, I think she has a little actress in her, actually. I mean, you have to understand, first of all, my grandmother is completely different than most grandmothers, which is that she... Uh, I walked in the house, and I hadn't seen her in a while. You know, with grandmothers and grandfathers, you, you hope they're still good and doing well and everything. And I walk in, and she's got her cigarette in one hand, her scotch in the other, her black velvet outfit, you know. And she's like, Carla! And so I, I go, you know, I'm about is to she, Has she always been kind of this sort of she's Hollywood very, personality? very theatrical, yes. She never was an actress, but clearly I have many of her traits, I'm told. So, mm -hmm. so I'm leaving at like 6 o'clock in the morning. My car's going to pick me up to come to New York and do this stuff. And... And so I think I'll wake up at 5.45, throw on my clothes, and, you know, get on, get on in the car and go to the plane. So at 4.45, the lights in the room go on. And I'm like, what? What, what, what happened? Is everybody okay? My grandma says, Carla, it's Graham. Just want you to know that the coffee's waiting for you. It's 4.45. You've already been on the news. Your movie was number two in America. It made $16.5 million. That's so weird. That's, that's... Yeah. And I thought... She uh, knew all the grosses. Yeah, she, she knew. knew. She knew everything. And it was a little scary. And I said, Graham, I think I'm going to go back to sleep. But... You know, and it was she good said, you are not okay, going back to sleep. Exactly. You know, I was up having coffee at 4.45, basically. Right, she so. said, you're getting up right now. Yeah. Yeah. And you're going to earn 30 more million dollars before this night is over. <laughs> and make the family name. Uh, you started out as a model right here in New York City, is that right? Yeah, for a very, very short time. Um, I mean, I'm 5'5", five five, so I don't know what I was thinking, but I thought, you know, I would give it a try. Is, it, that, is that too short to be a model? Well, at that time, you know, this is, this is like 12 years ago now, so it was too short. That Now they're getting a little shorter, you know? What's the difference? Because you can't tell how tall someone is uh, by just picture, looking at the magazine. I, I don't know. It's prejudice. They always have you pose with a penny they to show like the relative scale. You know? <laughs> <laughs> they stop doing that. Yeah. Uh, no, it's definitely gotten better. I mean, basically, when I came, you know, I was, I was supposed to be with five other models. We, were, we didn't know each other. We were sort of stuck in this apartment together. We were supposed to have a you chaperone. You lived with five other models? Yes. Why do models all live together? It's just, it's, it's like a, a, a penthouse letter, yeah, you know? Yeah, it's very odd. I don't know what that bonding thing is. Hey, did you all giggle and have, like, a pillow fight late at night? Yeah, we basically stood on our bed and looked at the rats running across the floor. That was sort of the, uh... Sort of the same thing. Yeah, I was like, I think this is not... <laughs> Look at the rats! Uh, I think I'm not meant for this, is what I figured. You know what's funny is, I, 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 this is a pet peeve of mine, because when I lived in Los Angeles, right. uh, I lived on the top floor, and the floor right below me, like, three models were living together. And they were beautiful, oh, and they used to just go out in the backyard right. and put sun oil on each other and go, <laughs> <laughs> and I was the creep on the top floor looking out. Oh, no. I don't know. I'm sure they had a whole different perception of you. No, were, yeah, I was yeah, a creep. No. I, used to call, I used to call them and, and talk like I do to my puppy. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, then, yeah that Who are you? Um, you're, uh, you actually do, you are connected to show business in a way. You have a famous, uh, famous aunt, is that right? Yes. Carol Merrill. Carol Merrill, who was on Let's Make a Deal. Was your aunt? Yeah, yeah, behind door number one. Yes. <laughs> Did she gesture to you a lot whenever? Yeah, no. Would you like a sandwich? You, you need know? to go to the bathroom? <laughs> no, she's actually an amazing woman. She really was such an influence on me. I mean, she just said, come to L.A., live with me. You know, if you want to start acting, I'll completely help you do it. And she was incredible. Right. Um, and definitely she, a different she, Did she take a lot of ribbing about, you know... Oh, totally. She loves it. I mean, she's always, you know, you can just get her to do that, that thing whenever you want. Okay, come on, come on. And behind door number one. And she mm -hmm. makes it all sound good, like you want to know what's behind door number one, you know? 
Which is a talent. She also probably completely knows the full name of every appliance. Yes, that's true. She doesn't true. say, yes, you know, I'll right, go cook well, you some soup. She says, I'll go cook you some soup on this lovely Amana Radar Range. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it was a good time. And uh, uh, someone told me you got hurt in this movie, but you look fine. I look fine. It was actually, a, it was an injury to my pinky. Um, no, yeah, which is, you know. They tell me after she got hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sorry sounds to, terrible. Sorry you may never act again. No, I know. It was terrible. I was scarred for life. No, basically, I had this, you know, they put these squibs on you when you're going to get shot. And Squib is the thing that blows device, up. Yeah, and it makes blood splurt and out. Makes and makes stuff fly out. And it has, like, a, yeah. some sort of a small fight. Very good. That was, like, exactly how you act when you get hit by you a go, squib. You go, like, exactly. it used to be, yes. <laughs> in movies, people used to get shot and go to sleep. Right, But right. now, we've, this is a big improvement yeah, we've made. Yeah, you have to shake Chunks of everything fly out and you go boom. Yes. <laughs> and it's it's like a little firecracker. I don't know that I can continue my story. So that, that happened to your pinky, yeah, so basically. Basically, I reached at the wrong time. <laughs> yes, it was. It went off the top of my pinky, and it was terrifying. <laughs> Well, you seem fine now. Yes. You know, it was very nice meeting you, Snake Eyes. Congratulations. Thank doing you so quite much. well. That's now playing everywhere. Yeah. In every theater in America. Carla Gugino, very nice to meet Thank you. you so Thanks much. for coming yeah. on the program. <laughs> we'll be right back. We'll take a break. Dwayne Kennedy is coming up. Stick around.